The Onion Sea has its wonders. Paxos is just one of them, and it's rather hard to describe in words how much I enjoyed my short staying here. Small beautiful islands with a surface of just 25 square kilometers, with a population of 3,000 inhabitants, sister of Antipaxos, neighbor to Corfu, Paxos is just perfect with its little wild beaches and the many festive nature. It is mostly visited by British and Italians. The all-natural, non-commercial beaches are bound to be discovered. I hope you will discover them for yourself. Just rent a car or a scooter and go seek! Logos is a lovely place to have dinner. The tiny fishing village offers you an experience you won't soon forget when it comes to just drinking a beer or having dinner. The place is very clean and welcoming, very tourist friendly, but you won't find here the crowds of tourists from the most known islands in Greece. This is Laka, the northern port of the island, also very nice and serving excellent food. Been there at noon when the Greeks were having the siesta, there was nobody on the streets. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to visit Antipaxos. I suggest you spend half a day in Antipaxos. The color of the water is just breathtaking. You can take a small boat from Paxos for a 15 minutes ride and you can also taste the famous Antipaxos wine while you're there. So, conclusion. If you're in Corfu, don't miss a trip to Paxos and Antipaxos. I promise you an unforgettable day. You can also find accommodation in Paxos if you want, but book in advance, the island is really small. Please subscribe if this video helped and here are some more related videos you might like. From Greece, 5 best beaches in Zakynthos, 5 best beaches in Lefkara, and from Turkey, why I'm madly in love with Fethiye, Çeşme beaches and some unexpected things to see in Çeşme, 10 reasons to love Gimuşluk Turkey.